welcome to quick 3d tutorials in this video i will show you how you can create a snow inside maya in the first video we're going to show you how you can make shader for it and we're going to use r05 and uh, after it we're going by the end particle creating snow to fall after this we're going to focus on uh, the objects that are in the scene how the snow can uh, stay on it and in the last video, we want to animate the snowball to falling and make a trail behind him. But in this video, we're just focusing about the shading. So before uh, I get to it, uh, if you're looking for this, uh, your snowball not be round like this, and you want add kind of a bump to it, uh, it is better you using this co-opting tool. But if you cannot use it, you can of course use the displacement map to do it but it costs you more render time now the scene if we're looking to the scene is very simple the sky dome light was 0.8 and i have a sunlight by two and the little bit yellowish so very simple now i have also creating some of shader for the different things and uh, i have also creating for um, for the other snow and you need to remember if you're going to use some of text or noise or whatever it is if you have a small object in the noise here is going to be smaller in the uh, in the world is going to be bigger so you're getting uh, maybe you need to make two shader uh, you need to make two shader for the big object and for a small object but for now we just uh, go to this kind of images how the snow will look like we want to get this effect shiny effect and we want also have this soft effect as well so we're going to high shade so here inside high shade i have already created the shader i have used arnold shader ai uh, standard surface shader so i just grab the network of it before anything we need to add a noise uh, you can use noise texture, but I'm going to use the Arnold noise, which name AI noise. To sync the noise on the object, I need to put this middle mouse click and dragging it to the color. So we're going to see what kind of effect we're going to get. Now we're going to the Arnold render. You can find it also here and uh, render it. So as you can see, the noise is uh, very big. I want have the noise to be, let's see, I want the noise, excuse me, always is a good idea to stop this uh, before you get to the other, and so we want the noise to be bigger, maybe, maybe 18, you need to put all of them to this. So if I just focusing, I focusing only on not on the ground. You can see because the UV is bigger inside there, so the ground have another effect. But shiny, uh, the noise here maybe is good enough, I think. So we're going to use this to creating this shiny effect look. So now we have creating it. We're going back to the hybrid shade. We now need to uh, delete the connection between the color because we don't want to use it for the color. Just put a gray color on it just for now. And now we want to create a bump for it. So we're selecting the shader, go to the geometry, go to the bump and middle mouse click, drag it on this and close this. We're going to get the bump node. It's a little bit faster to we connecting it. Uh, and the next things we need to do is actually go ahead and take the output color that is important and putting it to the bomb value. Now we having it. So we selecting the bomb. Now it's going to be very high actually this this one one. If I just playing it so you can see it's very very too much. So we're going to put it to zero first. So we're looking how much noise we want adding to the model i think maybe 0.01 and you can of course 
yeah, I think kind of this is good, not bad. Of course, you can go make it less or more or whatever. But I think this one it work, just to show you the idea about it. Uh, so, so the second thing I have, uh, I forgot to sell it. Uh, telling you, I have the specular to zero. You need to putting it to the one, playing it once again. So you're going to get this nice shiny effect on it. Okay, now we want to play with the color. If you want to render it faster, just put the white color or kind of not very white, but kind of whitish, bluish uh, uh, color. But if you want it more quality, you can use the subsurface, which is give you kind of like very soft effect. So put this to one and it should be on the white. And the radius of it kind of bluish and if now I going uh, to uh, to render it I will got I just go to the same setting here the scale radius is too big so you don't getting the color you're looking so it is kind of reddish so you need go to maybe 2 0.2 or maybe less in this 0.1 so it was a uh, 0.080 it is better so you can see if I now it's just rendering but if I just take this out zoom this so you think the effect is very nice and there are kind of noise in the image and that is because uh, if we're going to render setting inside the Arnold you need to make this a little bit higher and of course this one it need to be higher but that is the quality just for the testing it worked fine and I cannot see it uh, the shader here so I can just disable the texture for it so now we want to focusing how I can make this to be more shinier or less shiny so the shiny effect I think it is good but let's see maybe this area we're going to focus on it uh, I want it to be more shiny let's see you want it to be more go a bit uh, lower number but not go to the zero that is important and in this in if you want it to be more shiny in this so put this a little bit more higher so you will get more uh, kind of uh, this IC effect how will we going to put this uh, shine effect on it and all this is going to happen because we have a bump in uh, the noise uh, texture inside the bump so now I'm just going to just quick render it so here it is the render so you can see we have getting like a very nice uh, snowing effect and of course you can give more quality if you like but for now uh, just to show you what is going on and if you're looking to the background the noise is too big so it needs to be more smaller in this case I need to create another shader for it or just duplicate it and give it more noise in my noise image uh, and in the next video we're going to look at how we can create a snowfall and after it we're going to also render it with the Arnold and thank for watching.